Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here's my okra. Now I've chosen to use a frozen bag of okra and let it thaw out in the fridge. And it leaves this sticky film, kind of like an aloe from a cactus, as you can see. It's sticking to my fingers. So what I'm gonna do first is season it, because I know the seasoning will stick to it really well. And all I'm using is some seasoned salt, some cayenne, and some black pepper, and just giving that a good stir to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. Now because I've got this stickiness, I can go ahead and start coating with flour. Otherwise, you want to soak it in buttermilk first. But this is going to adhere very good. But as you can see, it's still sticky, so I'm going to repeat this process several times. Probably going to use about a full cup's worth of flour by the time I'm done. And when I'm done, it looks like this. As you can see, every piece is fully coated. But it's going to be lightly coated when we fry, and some of it will fall off a little bit. But this is about what you want. And then you just do a little shake off here to make sure you get rid of any excess flour so you're not frying all that up in the oil. And then in your pan, you want just a thin layer of oil across the whole bottom. And I like to test it out with one piece to make sure it's hot enough and then I'll dump it all in there. Now what you want to do is make sure you spread it out evenly one nice smooth layer of okra across the bottom of your pan so it has a chance to fry all on one side. Then I'll come back and start moving it around. It takes about eight full minutes to really get the color you want. So you can see it's a light golden yellow right now. But you want more of a golden brown like this. And all it takes is a little bit of patience. Just tossing it and turning it back and forth letting it get that nice golden color. The golden brown you want to see on your okra. Then it's ready for a serving dish. And there you have it. Fried okra right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.